Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have at last an update for 22 in 2022. Um, I think I'm quite late with this update, maybe a month late. <laughs> um, a few of them kind of fell by the wayside this last month and so yeah I'm just trying to do a bit of a catch up and a bit of a bulk filming. So it's late on a Thursday night, I'm in my scruffs, I look a bit rough after work but it don't matter. Um, we're amongst friends <laughs> and if you're not my friend, bog off. <laughs> So I have a um a bit of a change up I think this month which is good. I have got two empties which I'm really really happy about. I've made progress on a few others. Some I still haven't started and I have made an executive um executive decision to take out did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> my arm just slipped off the um of the arm of the chair. I was pretending it hadn't happened. I was like, hmm. and so yeah, I made an executive decision to switch out six products. They're just bringing me no joy in this project, and month after month, I'm like, I'm just avoiding them. So I might as well just take them out, switch something else in, and just see if um yeah, if there's some things in there I can make some progress on. I'd rather do that than just have like dead products sat in my project, like clogging up a space. So let's start off with my empties. So the first thing is, da, 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 it is the Skin Chemist 24 Hour Aqua Repair Facial Serum. So this was the 30ml serum. It was new when I rolled it in and I have absolutely loved it. So I made really good progress. And um, I've gone from there to there, down here. So my last update, I was there and I was virtually finished it. So it's probably no surprise that it is finished now. But um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased to have this done and out of my collection. I did have another one, but I think I've sent it to one of my friends. Um, because I honestly, I enjoyed it so much. It's gorgeous. If you've got this in your collection, use it. It doesn't look very much. When you look at it, you think, oh, I'm sure that won't do anything. But honestly, it's such a beautiful, beautiful serum. Smell really nice as well. But yeah, it's gone. I am sad it's gone, but I'm pleased that I finished it as well because I needed a little bit of success in my projects. I'd already finished two products prior to this. This is my third product. And bearing in mind, like, in April, nearly into May. It's been a bit of a slow, heavy start. So yeah, I'm delighted to have another empty. And then this one is, it started off life with me thinking that I really didn't like it. And so I brought it into the project just to try and use it a little bit and just make up my mind if I liked it or not. My first go with it, I don't think I was that in love with it at all. I don't know what happened really. Anyway, can I just say I absolutely love this and um if ever there's a day I don't have any hair products <laughs> this is something I would definitely buy and it is the um damage remedy from Avida absolutely gorgeous I've really used this so much this month I was there it's finished off and literally my hair just felt so nice after using it really smooth really soft first I thought it felt really dirty so I don't know if it was like a different product that just didn't suit my hair because every time after that I've used it it's been beautiful it says here it's daily hair repair instantly repairs and protects from heat styling um yeah I've just loved it it's been beautiful it smells really nice as well but it's gone and I am a little bit sad so yeah that's my two empties I'm delighted though but doom for the right way it means I'm able to get a little highlighter pen like I've done there and highlight out that they finished. Oh, I've got another empty. I've got three. I've just seen it here. What am I thinking of? Oh, this I wasn't in love with, but it was okay. But there is a real design fault on it. Could you know what it is? <laughs> it is the Josh Wood colour um, hair mask. So this was a nice enough mask. It's meant to like protect your colour. You're meant to use it on your hair as well before you go and get it coloured and it helps it last longer. Can't say if that's the case or not. But for me, the fact that I could not see how much product I had left was a real, real problem. Last time I was like probably overusing it because I felt it was nearly finished. So I thought I'll put a bit more on and then it ended up like there was still loads in there and you could never tell. You can't shake it. I think it's like an airless pump inside. So this last time um, I put it on in my hand, put it in my hair and then I thought, oh gosh, is there enough there for another mask or not? I'm not sure. I thought, oh, well, I could do a little bit more on my ends. So I just went, 
did about another two pumps then that was it finished so if i hadn't have done that i'd have thought there was enough in here for another mask and there like really wasn't so yeah it's gone it's finished i never ever repurchase this again i've tried masks which are much nicer and um, but as i say the fact that it hasn't got a clear window that's something they should maybe think about i might do a little post on instagram about it actually and just mention that whether they care or not, I don't know. But it's, it's customer feedback, isn't it? It was okay. It wasn't wow. But yeah, three products out. So I've now got five out of my 22 finished, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. So looking here, um, the next product that I'm nearly finished, and I couldn't find the box for it on my last update, and it is the Benefit Rocketeur Blush. So I depotted it. Um, but this is what it looks like when I depotted it. At first, I thought there was only a little bit around the edges, but can you see all them little squares inside? I've just dropped it on the bloody floor. Um, I got a little cocktail stick. Oh my God, I've got the brush. I got a little cocktail stick and I, I picked all the bits of blush out um, when I was depotting it. So it's incredible how much was still in there. So that was that. However, I popped it into, I had a little empty eyeshadow pan here and it, it covered the base of this pan when I first did it. If I've got a, um, if I can grab a screenshot from my last update, I'll pop it in here now so you can compare. It is nearly finished. I might need to repress it again. Look at that. It's nearly, nearly gone. I think I might need to repress it again. Um, there's hardly any product left in there, but I was amazed how much product I had left. It almost was like a full pan again. So I've used it, used it, used it. So I really, really want to finish this. It's such a big product for me to use. Um, so yeah, I reckon that'll be done next time, hopefully. But what an achievement. I'm so proud of myself. So we're nearly there with that. It's a gorgeous color, by the way. I haven't told you that bit. Really, really beautiful. It's got a shimmer on it and can you just see it's it's quite neutral but pinky yet corally and peachy i don't know it's it's not pink it's not coral i don't think this is going to show up at all um but it is just a stunning stunning blusher i'm going to try it just it's a bit it gives it a beautiful shimmery sheen can you see i don't think you can it gives a lovely, lovely sheen. You can just kind of see there. But um, I love it. Just love it. It's beautiful. Um, really, really beautiful. Okie dokie. Progress. So I should have progress on this. It is the Diego Dalla Palma Black Eyeliner. I'm using this pretty much every single day to line my upper lash line. I love it. When you sharpen it, it stays to a point. It's not too soft it holds its form really really well it goes on top of shimmers really nicely um it's so black that's it there it is honestly great it doesn't smudge a lot or anything at all let me weigh it and then i have definitely got this one measured so we can see how it's come down um so where are we the diego dalla palma was number 20 i do believe which means it was 4.27 grams last time. Oh my goodness, I knew it. And it's 3.67. So I've used 0.6 of a gram. Um, I've used loads. I'm going to mark it with a pen if my pen works. Hopefully it does. Yes. So let me just mark it on here and then I can show you. Um, oh, I thought it would be more than that, but... I wonder if it's been quite recently that I've done my update. I'm not sure. Maybe I haven't sharpened it as much. <laughs> Maybe I was a bit keen to see progress. So, okay, this is my line here. So last time it was that one. Now it's there. That's it from the bottom, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's coming down. When you think I started off, it was up there. So I've used an awful lot of pencil. I'm very proud of myself as well with this one. I'm really enjoying this pencil. I'd always thought that I just like the little kind of like wind up tiny, tiny, um, I don't know what you'd call them, like lid liners, but on the, the, 
wind ups. Um, they'd always be my preference, but I have to say this is a beautiful, beautiful black pencil. I would definitely recommend it. I think I got this one maybe in an advent calendar. Maybe. Um, I can't even remember where I got it from, but it is stunning. It's gorgeous. If you've got it, give it a whirl. It's really, really lovely. Um, now, let's give it this see if I, i'm pretty sure i use this bit i've been curling my hair when i've been going out when i'm at the caravan and things i think i took this with me last time and used it or did i not use this one but anyway it must be nearly there um last time it weighed oh i haven't used it last two times that's interesting so there's been no change so it was 141.95 let's see if it's gone down a little bit please 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 Yay! 125.77. So that will be done, hopefully by next update. Um, yeah, I am going on holiday, so I won't take on holiday with me, but I'm going to the caravan this weekend, so I'll definitely be curling my hair then because it's bank holiday weekend. I maybe just need to get a bit heavy handed with the spray, <laughs> but um, God, it's lasted years. <laughs> but it's nearly finished. It is nearly finished. Um, but um, but um, but um, I have I used any of this? I'm not sure. This is the show which leave in conditioner. Um, I tend to use this more if I'm not drying my hair, I found it works out really nicely for that. Um, I don't think I've used it this time actually. It was where are we? Number 13. So last time it weighed 244 grams. I think it might be the same actually. Oops. Need to use the other scales. Oh, 233 grams. So I've used 11 grams of product. Yay, me. <laughs> um, we're getting there slowly. It feels to me, I'm going to guess it's maybe about this much left. Just we kind of feel like the, the weight of it. I, I think it's going to be about here. So I reckon... It should be done in the next couple of months, I think, hopefully. It's very heavy packaging, but it's nice. And it's like a, a very pale peachy coloured conditioner, I think. Quite thick. Um, but yeah, it's nice just to put in your hair, leave it to dry. And it just feels lovely when you brush it through the next morning when it's all dry. It feels gorgeous. All right, then the rest, I don't think I've used that much. And the problem with this was I had them all in my box when I'd done my last update. And then if I don't update my book or take, I think I'll need to take photos or this or that, or I forget to take them upstairs or whatever, I'll pack them away. It stays in here and then it's not in places where I use them. And so I really need to work on that. And I am working on that. Um, do you remember when I did my, <clears throat> my craft trolley when I had a, a haul from the, from Hobbycraft and I got that three tier craft trolley trolley. I think I'm going to use that for all of my products in Project Pans. So I'm going to be doing a video about that. Um, maybe, I don't know, it might actually be in June when I do that video. It'll be before if I've got time. But yeah, I'm going away on holiday and then it'll just be sort of busy, busy. But it's in the pipeline. I want to get really organised with my products. I want to continue panning, I think definitely you not know, going on from here it's, i want it to be a regular part of my channel i've just been a bit bad at updating just now but i think it's going to be one of these things where some of my products i might just sort of split them down the middle and just up, say if i've got like group a like with maybe like three projects in i'll update them um like say in like one month and then the following month i'll update the remaining ones and alternate it like that so maybe i just update my projects every couple of months if i'm feeling like i'm not able to get in time or i just do it when i've got time and it doesn't really matter when it is but as long as i've completed it by the end of the year it doesn't really matter um nobody says you have to do updates bang on the same day every month i know some people do and they're amazing and that's great i just really struggle with the hours that i work and looking after my grandson and then going to the caravan and then spending time with my husband and yeah it's a struggle isn't it so um i think i'll just be here when i'm here so yeah if i'm not about don't think i'm just stopping youtube or i'm stopping doing my beauty things i'm not i am still i'm always going to be doing my beauty products and my um, beauty projects and things it's just it's not always a priority of my day <laughs> to get a video uploaded okay gosh where did that little ramble come from okay moving on um i haven't really used this 
particularly I have been concentrating on another like highlighting priming base from a different project and it's the CYO illuminating mixing cream I don't think I've used this if I'm honest I will wait just to double check it is lovely but I reckon I want to get my other one finished now I'm really really enjoying this other one and I've probably got about another one or two months on my other project another product and then this one will come in maybe more towards the autumn and with it being a cream rather than a serum it'll probably feel quite nice anyway so CYO last time it's 32.85 I think it's going to be the same to be honest guys oh 31.75 so I've used a tiny little bit of it um not a great deal but it's gorgeous it's lovely it does make I've shown you before this is totally cheap when I put a bit on my finger to show you <laughs> by hook or by crook I'll use it up and it looks really like whoa but once you rub it in you can mix it with your foundation you can use it on its own you can use it as a highlighter it's ace honestly does it even show this light I haven't got a ring light on there we go see that lovely sheen and then when it's underneath oh just popped a bit there wow when it's underneath your foundation it is so pretty um <laughs> products i have not used this month so i think i forgot to use my dermalogica i didn't move it into the bathroom this is so close to being finished in fact it feels like it's a hard lump in the bottom oh it's nearly done listen oh right i want this done for next month it's going to be a focus product that is going straight up into the bathroom it'll be done it's fine it smells away tell you every month um actually i might have used this did i use this it is the magic apali body oil i think i'm going to start using this I don't want to use it as a body oil, so I'm either going to use it as a bath oil or as a shaving oil. So I think I'm going to try it as a shaving oil first and see how I get on. Still haven't used it. I think it smelled a bit funny. When I first got it, it smelled really nice. I don't know if it's gone off slightly. That's the danger in it, but it's such a nice product. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to try it for shaving. I'll know then what it smells like and if I like it or not. So I'll give you a bit of an update. Um, I don't shave my legs that often. I'm really slack. Although I've bought a load of dresses. I need to do a Sheen haul. Sheen, Shane, Sheen haul. Um, got lots of dresses. I'm going to try and get a bit more girly. Wear some dresses through the day. Um, so I'm going to have to have tanned legs, shaved legs. <laughs> so that's going to be going forwards. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't quite started this yet, but it's now gone into my bathroom and it is the apple cider vinegar acid peel. I rolled this in maybe last month or the month before. Um, it's from the Inky List. I love them as a brand. And this is a, a peel that you put it on, for you, on your face in the evening, leave it for 10 minutes and then rinse off. It's brand new. It's full. Have I weighed it yet? Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 18... Yes, I have weighed it, haven't used it yet. So um, I will feedback, let you know what I think of it next time. Um, I ha haven't used any more of this. I need to get back home with my nail polish. Look at my nails now. Uh, they've done so well. And then I've just stopped caring about them. They're all now short, broken, dreadful. So I need to get my nail file back out. Start catching any nicks. Pop some polish on. Take a bit of pride again. Grow them. So... It will be coming back. We've got loads of time before the end of the year. Um, equally, nails. I have used this once and it was the Mavala nail oil. That needs to make it into my bathroom as well for evenings. Um, it will do. It's as good as new. So, Right, the incredible growing pencil. I think I might have used it. I'm sick of it growing. Every month it's heavier and heavier and heavier. We have got... Where are we? Benefit precisely my brow. 22. So this is hilarious. It started off at 7.26 grams. Then it went to 7.27 grams. Last month it was 7.28 grams. Let's see if it's continuing the tradition or if it's gone down. <laughs> oh. It is 7.3 grams. It has grown 0.2 grams. I want to show you can you hang on where is it where is it 
Where's my scales? There, I don't know if it's showing up. Can you see that 7.3 grams? I don't know if it shows or not. It has grown again. How is this possible? It is actually now starting to get a bit of a jerk. <laughs> I actually have used it. I don't I don't understand how it's getting heavier. I, I honestly don't understand it. Um and it's consistently getting heavier. I think I'm going you know if if this does it again next month, I'm getting rid of it and I'm going to bring another brow product in. I cannot use a brow product that gets more, the more I use it. Never does that with a lipstick that you love or, you know. Jeez. Oh, right, so that's that. Now, I have got a few products I'm rolling out and some products I'm rolling in. I contemplated not even rolling any products in. I thought, do I just roll them out? But then it's 22 in 22. So I need to try and... um you know, just get something else. So what I've done is, uh, it's an interesting little mixed bag, actually. I've tried to sort of keep it similar-ish, but not. So the first one I am rolling out is the Vita Liberata Fabulous. It's like a self-tanning gradual lotion. So the reason I've done this is I have got another um, gradual tanner in one of my other projects that I want to use, and that's like a clear water spray tanning mist, water. Um, and it's new. This is really old. Um, I have got a feeling that if I put it on my leg, I've got a feeling it's probably off. Um, and so if I'm going to fake tan, I'd rather focus on that other product. So I'm actually going to declutter this. I'm going to remove this from my, from my project. Um, so it's like a tanning thing. So in its place, what I thought I would do, it's only Diddy, but it is a tan milk tan extender from Mind Tan. It's only 30 mils. But I'm going to bring that in in its place. It's new, unopened. I'll give it a little weigh now so we know how much it weighs. It is 38.03 grams. And then um, brand new. I'll give it a bit of a shake. I'll let it mix it all up again because it's been sat in the drawer for ages. I'll let that settle. I'll mark it on there. But I have weighed it. So that's the replacement for that very exciting we'll start a new page in my book i think um next thing i'm rolling out i'm never going to use this it's been sat looking at me and i know some people says it'd be really nice in the summer when it's a really hot day you can use it then in the shower now nah. it's a sanctuary spa it does pay me to say this i'm decluttering it but it's going it's a wet skin moisture miracle i just still can't get over having to use this in the shower well once your shower switched off soaking wet rubbing moisturizer into a wet body and then getting towel dried it makes no sense to me i'm just not going to use it i really enjoy using body lotions but this to me just seems ridiculous so i'm decluttering it um in its place what should we bring in in its place i have got this and it's another tanning product but it is for the face and it is the saint tropez self tan purity um bronzing water face mist so i thought that'd be really nice is getting to summer um pop a little bit of tan on my face to try and if i ever do fake tan catch that up so yeah i've brought that in there um brand new again i think it's brand new and it weighs 40.10 grams that's my next one there Next, I'm decluttering. <laughs> it's probably no surprise to you. And I don't know why I brought it in. I, th I, thought, I think I was like a bit optimistic, really. And it is the Nude by Nature Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. I just don't use face powder. And putting it into a project isn't going to change the habit of a lifetime. I'm still not going to use face powder. So I am rolling this out. I'm not going to declutter it. I'll keep it there just in case it's ever a day that I feel like I want to try a bit of powder, but it's not something I want to pan. So it's just gonna go back into my collection. Hello. Um, so that's it. I just wasn't successful with it at all. So it'll, it'll get packed away. And what should we say in its place for this one? Um, another product for the face, keeping in line with the summer sort of theme. And it's only small. I've got this because I'm, I'm ashamed to say I'm really bad at this. And I want to bring it in before I go on my holiday. And it's from Ren. Uh, so it's from Ariane Skin Clean Skincare, and it is a clean screen mineral SPF in 30. So it is a facial sunscreen. 
I'm so bad. Don't shout at me. Uh, facial sunscreens, so, so bad. And I'm aware, just everyone, you need to use SPF on your face. And I just don't know why. I do. It's not something I've never done, really. And I struggle to do it. I'm really good at putting all my skincare on. And yet, this is probably the most important step and I don't do it. So I've got a little tube here. It's only 10 mils. I want to try and um, establish a new good habit. Bit late for me. <laughs> it's been like I'm um, shutting the stable door once the horse has bolted. I should have been doing this like 40 years ago. However, it's better late than never. I can just sort of start with it now. So it's just a little one and I really, really, really want to start using this regularly. Um, it weighs 16.58 grams and it is brand new. Next thing I'm rolling out, and I don't hate this product, but I'm just, I am not using it and I can't see myself using it particularly that much. And there's other things in a similar category that I'd rather use. And it is the Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paint. This is beautiful. It's a really nice colour. Um, it is very comfortable to wear. But, you know, I just don't wear matte lipsticks. It's not something I enjoy wearing. Um, this is gorgeous. Though. Look at it. It is so beautiful. I'm not decluttering it because it is actually probably one of my favourite matte lipsticks. I'll probably declutter a lot of others as I sort of start to come through them. I need to start my lipstick roulette going again. Um, but I love it. But I just don't love to use it. So I'd rather bring something in that I can try and use, try and finish. So that's rolling out. That's it there. Isn't it gorgeous? In its place, it's something similar-ish, really. And it's a, so I've tried to bring another lipstick in because it was a lip product. And I've had this in my collection for so long. And it's a Burt's Bees in a blush basin. I think I got this in... Um, maybe latest in beauty and I think I got it probably about five years ago so it needs to get used it doesn't smell funky or anything and it's a similar kind of like color so it's a lipstick here there's still quite a bit in it so that's how much it is there I will mark it in um my book let me just do a little swatch for you or remind myself what it's like um so it's that's it there. So it's quite peachy, really, in comparison to that one. That was much more brown. And to be honest, it's probably more of a shade that I will enjoy wearing, especially now it's like spring. Um, I think it's quite nice. It's very flattering on most sort of skin tones. And it is a big lipstick. Look at the size of that. It's so big. But I love the packaging. Burt's Bees does great packaging. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a go. But as I say, it's 501 Blush Basin. I will weigh it. Um, I will also measure it because I like getting a visual guide. I'm doing well with my other um, lipstick in my That's Expensive Project pan, which is the Cl is it a Clarins? I think it is. And um, I can't believe how much that's going down. So it's made me feel um, that I can actually achieve um, good results with my lipsticks. So this one weighs 18.85 grams. I can do it. I can do it. Um, now, I'm rolling out the clear gloss from, from Laritzi. I've not made any headway on it recently. I kind of made a bit of it, a dent on it to begin with. But again, I love gloss. I really, really love gloss. But if I'm going to wear gloss, I'm going to wear a tinted gloss. Um, I'm not a two-step lip person, really. I'm not going to put a pencil on and then gloss over the top or a matte liquid, a matte lipstick and then a gloss i'd rather just have a color gloss and be done with it i'm not gonna declutter it it will go back into my collection but i've just I haven't reached for it and i really don't think that i would i'd have to force myself to use it and i've got so many lip products i'm not about force myself with any lip products at all so that's going out and then i thought i would bring in just a very small little gloss and it is a sexy mother pucker um and here we go it is um oh my god i can't even think of the brand is it soap and glory oh my gosh i'm being really dim i'm sure it's soap and glory is it it is um so it's a tingly one that you get 
Um, let me show you the colour here. And it is so lovely just to wear every kind of day. That's it there. Um, why well, it looks a bit grey? I think, I think that's probably gone on a bit funny on top of something. Why does that look a bit grey? Let me try it somewhere else. It is there. That's better. I must have had a bit of muck on there. Anyway, that's it there. It's quite peachy. Don't know what's happened there. Um, so it is a peachy colour, quite similar to the lipstick actually, but it is really nice. And um, yeah, I want to get that finished. Hopefully it won't take too long. I don't know where we are in it. I'll try and let it settle. Might take the stopper out soon. Did I weigh it? I can't remember. It weighs 10.28 grams. Ta-da! And then finally, the last thing I'm rolling out, and again, I don't hate it, quite like it, like the colour, but it's not something I reach for. It's not a step in my makeup routine that I kind of do regularly, and it is my Huda Beauty lip pencil. I'm definitely keeping this in my collection. If ever there's a day I want to do a lip pencil, it will be this. The colour is really pretty. Um, that's it there. It matches all these so well. And yeah, it's nice. It doesn't sharpen very well. I have bought some new sharpeners though, so maybe that'll be better. But the wood's like kind of chunky and yeah, sort of snapped off. So I'm rolling that one out. It'll go back into my collection. In its place, I brought another lip product. Is this going to be the year of the lips? I don't know. Am I stupid? I don't know. But I've rolled three lips out there. And so I've rolled in sort of several, like three lip products as well. I think that's kind of like a swear, a fair swap. Um, this is one of my oldest products. I got this in, I think it was the U Beauty Box, which was a sister company from Latest in Beauty. I think it was one of the first beauty boxes I ever, ever subscribed to. I loved it. And this packaging just blew me away. I absolutely love it. When you open it up, it says, there we go. Look. What does it say? I can't remember. I know I'm not perfect, but my lips look fabulous. And so I've never been able to throw away this packaging because I think it is amazing. So it's a lip crayon by Bagsy. It's a chubby stick. And um, there's actually not that much left. It's a really lovely colour. And this is it here. It's just like a little wind up kind of crayony pencil. That's all I've got left. And it is literally, it must be five, six, six years old maybe more um let me just show you what it looks like i'll swatch a little bit here you can definitely see the kind of colors i like it's a bit darker than the others um but it's, it's quite sheer it has a bit of a sheen on it as well it's super comfortable and i absolutely loved it it doesn't last very long but i don't mind that um but i want to try and finish this really i want to finish all of these products um so that's it. Oh, let me weigh it. I'll weigh it outside of its packaging. It weighs in at 12.78 grams. So I, all of my lipsticks I'll mark on the page. That's everything. God, it's a long video. I'm so sorry. But it was a big catch up. And next time I'm only going to be showing you products that I'm actively using. That'll keep the videos nice and short. But I wanted to do this. I wanted to take out some products. I wanted to have a chat with you really about where I was at with my panning and to say I'm still here. Um, so yeah, that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed my update. Take care. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. And um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing me back doing my updates. Bye for now, guys. Bye.